roll another J and get ready to witness the main attraction. Nothing left to say. I'ma leave it all right here, but I'm just rapping. Sorry, skies, leave me sorry. I like sorry. I didn't do what I gotta do to make sure we fortified as a unit. But don't leave me mortified if you'd have kept it a hundred. A brother would be more than fine. Gave you more than time. Gave you some peace of mind. That's why I got some qualms about the way you treated mine. You came close to doing damage to my third eye. That's why instead of people, these beats on my murder. I showing up what's worse, my Would you rather see casualties of me casually? Snap on beat speakers quick, drastically. The team imagine tees as we pass the reef. Ask the streets if I ain't playing cool, they be mad with me. Cause I'm the one they want to prevail and fail at the same time. That's why I talk about good and bad in the same rhyme with an insane grind. I smoke till I'm super sane. High. Plus the vine lyrics, I guess I'm a super saint god MC, King Charles, FNYK, the flyest native you know Capo, Capo, Capo Yeah, Contingency, King Charles, FNYK Flow is like incest with degenerates Fucking stupid and fine of interest as I interject I moonwalk in my boots, footsteps when I'm on set Smooth predator boarding the mothership for conquest Cause I'm next I'm sorry if I'm too witty and a screw loose So try to fix something to do with me as I cruise the beat With fluency of what's true to be And truthfully I miss the way that it used to be You say you gifted, had to prove it, beat Set a date, step up to the plate and cease opportunity Let the viewers of the music see me pay hip-hop Gratuity as I chew the beat, influencing UMCs with microphone fever. Married to the game with little intention to leave her. As long as she act right and not like a diva. A little less Cardi B and a lot more Aaliyah. We'll see, huh? Sickened by this renaissance of skeezers. Shit is not for me, bruh. Yeah, I wanna hit through some speakers. Playing in some kicks on the sneakers. You dead? Uh, I'm going through the days where people test my gangsta just for a reaction. If I ain't getting paid. What's up, fellas? What's cracking? Oh, What's up, Lo? What's going on? Yep, 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 man. Yep, yep. Before everybody get started, man, I know y'all like, I thought it was Tuesday, man. Thought y'all coming in on Tuesdays. It looks like it's going to be Wednesday today. We all at, man. We all at. Get that wake up in a minute, man. Maybe they get a alert. Let them know that the, the bar the, the went live, man. We're trying to talk to them for a minute. Y'all let, man. I see a couple of heads showing up. Y'all wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yes, sir. What happened yes, sir. Chris had a bowling league night, man. He, he in a bowling league, man. They had a uh, tournament night or something, man. I thought he was going to come through, man, but maybe he tied up. He said he was going to be tied up with that, man. So What's we'll going on, on, Camo? We'll catch him on the flip side. What's going on, Carl? What's going on, Jake? I got an open mind up on my tablet, man. It's, uh... Can you hear me, Django? Yeah, you're fine, bro. I can't Tell hear folk, Lope. What's up? You can't hear Lope? No, I can't hear Lope. Lope, can you hear me? Yep. No. Yeah, he definitely on here. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, he, tell, he said what's up. Oh, okay. What's happening? What's happening? All right. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, on black rain, on All righty then. 
What's up, Jake? Yeah, man, uh, we tried to do some uh, Tuesday, Jake, man. Uh, I had uh, some technical difficulties, man, and uh, we abandoned that thing, man. Say we're going to come back another day, man, and uh, try that thing out another way, bro. How y'all doing tonight? Give me some thumbs up, man. What's up, Camo Joe? Well, Joe, all over the place, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Vincent? Say, what it do, DB? Yes, uh, bro. Black Rain says, it's sky time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what's up, Will? Will say, what up, Team DB? We we here, man. Trying to um, get on here and talk to you guys for a minute, man. I know it's short, well, how you say it? Short notice or whatnot, but. I always feel like even if we Jake in production, man, you guys can always watch it in, in in the archive, man. Yeah. Camo say, what's up, 3K? What's up, man? Thank you, that Vincent. What the rest of them thongs up here? Yeah, man. Hey, 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 y'all, y'all show up for a minute, man. We're gonna get this thing off and running in just a second. We got enough folks in the chat, man, to start a little conversation though. Mm-hmm. Well, Black Rain gave me one of these right here, Lope. Let's see. My man. <laughs> Let's go and get this thing started off, y'all. What's up? What's up, my peoples? We are here again. I'm your boy, y'all boat, a.k.a. Django 3000 with DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors. Who I got with me? Damn right. Game day jigs and flies. That's right. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I meant to send out a, a a notification, man. Let everybody know we were changing up. Not really changing. We're not changing up days or anything like that. But I had to um uh, had to come in today, man, because you know we missed yesterday, man. And um, uh, like I told, look, I've been trying to do better, my about about coming to you guys, speaking to you guys live, man, and um. So I told him, I said, yesterday, I said, after everything went kind of south, I said, we'll just come in tomorrow and make it do what it do. What you had? What, what was that you had, huh? Long got them now or later. Where you get them from, man? There wasn't no now or later, was it? There wasn't no now or later, was it? Yeah. Dang, man. I, you know, I killed for some pineapple, man. They had them pineapple. Oh, now later. Yes, they, they, sir. They in the room. They in the room on my on, on my uh, nightstand. Man, them the bed one, the pineapple now later, and them doggone lemon heads, man. Whew. Oh, look at Olo. Olo got it going on. <laughs> <laughs> this guy going to have 10 cavity tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already got him, probably. Nah, you know what? Oh, I, 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 I still got all these things. And the dentist said, all right, I might have to get them wisdom took out, but I the rest of them things, all right. Do they hurt you, man? What that? Your wisdom teeth? Nah. Well, are they making your teeth crowd? He was saying somebody they would start trying to grow up into the, the, the one before them. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. They're going to have to put you down for that one. Uh oh, we got a new man on here to say. What is that? Albany Fleming? He said, been watching y'all for a minute now. I said, I pray them boys keep bringing that fire. <laughs> Lope, the boat looks good, brother. Keep at it. I guess he, he done missed a couple episodes, ain't he? Nah, yeah, he probably I'm, I'm pretty sure he done watched all the five, but I'm hoping he have anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jake say, uh, that was his favorite, man. I guess he, you pulled them grapes up. He said, them his favorite. Tony Allen said, you brothers are some crappy masters. Hey, man, I wouldn't say all that, man, but we do have fun, bro. That <laughs> one thing we do have. Well, guys, you know, y'all know we get kind of long-winded because we love talking to you guys. So I'm going a, I'm to a start things off and tell you guys what the, what the, uh, the line is going to be about today. If you guys can't read it in the title, it's uh, how to use a barometer, man. Then you know when to go fishing, man. What you think about that, Lope? 
You know what? I I've no, I don't know how to use a barometer. I just don't even know what it looked like. But I've always known since I've been fishing, I've always said pretty much about the barometric pressure, and and it's gonna change. It, it really changes, you know, before a storm. That's why I always. That's why you always hear me say go fishing before or after, but that pressure changes, and that that's the, that's the barometer, aka the barometric pressure. But I always mm-hmm. just say the barometric pressure. I don't know about the barometer. And like I said, I ain't never seen no barometric pressure, a barometer reader before. I didn't yeah. know to get out there before and after that rain. Well, I tell you, your boy Crib, boy, he really pushed that concept on him, man. He believed in that barometer, oh, yeah. man. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah. our last fishing excursion, Chris called us. He said, uh, hey, man, I know y'all on that water. I said, well, no, nah, we ain't on the water, but we headed that way. He said, man, that barometer all the chain. <laughs> <laughs> He said, man, y'all gonna kill him. He said, y'all gonna kill him. So, uh, what you, how you think that fishing excursion was, Lope? Everybody. Everybody good today. That's her, man. Uh, There's some pretty big fish, too, man. Um, the sad thing about it is, man, I caught a, at least 10 to 11, 15 inch plus fish, man. And do you know them skies didn't even weigh two pounds, man? So I look at it like this right here. Between this week and next week, those fish are to they to grow uh, exponentially, man. I'm looking for them fish to be at least two and a half pounds by next week, man. What you think about that, Sam? Yeah, yeah, they should right, be. Jake. They should be. Uh, but the ones you had, you say, uh, what they kind of thin on the back? Hmm. They was 14 inch, but they were thin on the back. No, they're 15, man. They just, they didn't have them big bellies yet, man. You know, they had just started, oh, uh, I guess, you know, they they hadn't really started gorging themselves yet. You know what I'm saying? Bulking up. They got yeah. the size, the length. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't have that bulk yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know how you, this time of year, you find them fat bellies, you know, crappy, you know, with the big wide stomachs and stuff to bring that. They bring that weight up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These, these, all these were slim and trim, you know what I mean? But they had the length on. Them. Yeah, it, hey, it's coming, it's coming. You still are a little bit early, but the key is, uh, you on top of them, you on top of them, boy, and you can follow them right to the bank. Yes, so, right man. On. Well, uh, I normally didn't put much credence into the barometer as I do now because uh I gotta give credit to Chris. Chris really pushed that concept. What you say about that low? <laughs> he pushed it, don't he? Be on it. Yeah. yeah. Ever since he ever since he found out about it, it's this this is this is go to thing. Yes sir. And uh I, I believe in it now man because uh like I say uh something about it it activates that bite man makes them active you know and uh you can pretty much tell but uh you know, let's just get into it, fellas. Let's talk about it. I talked to Chris, man. I talked to Chris. Chris actually wanted to be on here today. And, um, but uh, he had a bowling tournament he had to be a part of. So, all right. This is what we're going to talk about right here, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sam, you got yours. Put yours up there, bro. Ah, yeah. All right, Sammy, where's your location? Tell me where you where you from. Illinois. All right, I'm down here in Georgia. All right, this is this is a scenario. If you guys can see that that gold dial right there, that's where I spotted it at earlier today. It was actually in a good spot to catch crappy, but the thing about it is, when this barometer is on the ride, the crappy are all frenzy eaters, man. But if you guys can see, I'm gonna show you. You can see that gold dial. That's where I set it at. That's where it was a few hours ago. Now it's right there. Optimal crappy fishing time. Can you guys see that? Yeah. That's how that's how high it is going. Anytime you catch that barama on the rise, man, you finna catch some fish, man. Yep, the bike, fast bike. Fast pressure bike, fast bike. Pressure rise, fast bike. 
the only thing about it is right now down here man the wind is so high I want to fish man I can't I can't get out there in that thing man when that wind like that man it's just it's rough man what what you say what you think about that low what that that high wind fishing in the high wind Man, it, 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 yeah, the, I wouldn't have a problem with it, you know, as far as like if I'm bank fishing, as long as it's yep. blowing from my back forward, it just kills me when it's blowing back this way. When it when the wind coming in my face. Yeah, and then on open water, man, it just man, it, it makes for terrible fishing, man. I, I can't really get with it. But here it is, man. We were talking to Chris. I wanted Chris to take this whole thing over, man, and uh, explain it because, you know, that's his thing, man. But he didn't show up today, so he had to do the bowling thing. So we're going to take it, Sam. How about that? Yeah, that'll work. Look, I I'm going to tell you something else, uh, Django. Uh, Go ahead. Low uh, barometric you pressure. Fail. Right? Winds coming Say out of the south. It pushes them up on What's the up, bank. Crap, so if you follow the barometric pressure and it's falling, coming close to spring, that gonna automatically tell you they up on the bank. Cause the barometric mm, up, pressure push them up on the bank. Rising barometric pressure, winds out of the north, it pushes them back out deeper water. I mean, do you even consider the barometric pressure when you go fishing? all the time i check the weather all the time before i i check it the uh night before i'm gonna go and i get up early in the morning i check it before i go out well, i check it before i go out well i um uh, i'm sold on it now man i think uh it's integral to catch those fish up, now right? man you know you got there sometimes, man, and you know everything point toward a good night, man. But then when you get on the water, everything seems like it's moving all slow. But then you know one thing you really don't consider sometimes is that barometric pressure, man. But that barometric pressure tells you a lot of things, man. And I hate it, guys. I didn't bring any multimedia to show you guys, so I'm finna show you this on my phone. So hopefully y'all can see it good. Can you guys see that graph right there? All right, if that you see how that needle, where that needle is, if that needle drops down towards the left side there, that's telling you, this say like if it drops way down towards the left, it tells you right there, you finna be in some lightning, man. You know what I'm saying? I never consider the barometric pressure telling you things like that. I always consider it, all right, if it's here, you go fishing. But it actually tells you different things. So like, if that needle drops all the way to the left, you see that cloud with that lightning. Nine times out of ten, you in in a thunderstorm. If a little bit higher than that, you 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 in rainy weather. And then on the other side, you see the red over there. That's telling you just a poor time to go fishing. But <laughs> yeah, but and you know the optimal time to catch crappy you know using that barometric pressure is when that barometric pressure is right around 29.9 30 on the rise and stuff well if you look at that gauge right there that's where me and chris were talking this morning and chris called me and said hey man doggone crappy man they they it's in a good place to catch and you see what that that needle that gold needle is that red needle is straight up and down. They're telling me right now, you drop a mill in the water, homeboy, you finna catch some monster crap. And, um, yeah, you, you, this hey, doggone you, thing, this is a great tool to have, man. You know, Chris turned me on to this, man. And I thought, you know, you know, it's one thing to have a digital barometer, you know what I'm saying? Digital. Now, I ain't mean to step on you, Sam. I'll let you talk in just a second. But go that ahead, digital, ahead. basically all that digital is, man, it's pulling information from different internet servers and they are you know just you know put input out there and it's basically just relaying whatever that input is right but with this um with this gauge here that's really going on right now man you know what i'm saying you it ain't no it ain't no doubt about it the weather is controlling that needle right there it's you don't have to wait 15 minutes for uh for your uh 
digital barometer to update itself to give you an accurate uh, reading. This one right here, it's straight up, man. It tell you right now what the situation is. Right now, Sam, you, what that what that needle telling me right now? Great, great fishing. It's time. It's on. It's telling if you. It's got like a little, a little. Uh, you guys can see it. A little index right here. I'm gonna get a little closer. And the index tell you if it's in a light blue, great. In the blue, yep. good. And then in the gray area, poor. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So you see that little sliver right there to your left? That's a good time to go fishing. But anytime it's in that light blue section right there, fishing finna be phenomenal, man. I don't know, man. You guys are if you guys are using the barometers or whatever, man. Drop some comments, man. Let me see what y'all know about that thing. Take it on, Sam. Yeah, yeah. And uh, th th that's where they get the uh, term front bump, you know? And, yeah, they're about to get down, You know, Jim. for years, if you've, been, if you've been fishing, you know, they're always telling you, you know, uh, today is a good day to go fishing. It's the front tomorrow. Well, you know yourself from doing this, the bite is good before the front. The bite is good right after the front, right after the move through, you know, and that's all uh, tied into the barometric pressure. But you know, I want to say this right here. I'm finna boost my home, but Lo, you say where's a good time to go fishing, man? You can't boost me up, man. I've been telling y'all this ever since we've been going. Ever, but what five years now, man? Before, before the rain and after the rain. What's 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 gonna happen tomorrow? <laughs> oh, oh it, if I, what, if I was to get down tonight, uh, when that bad rain come in, the night it come in, it come in tomorrow, I think. So basically, what you said is absolute truth, man. I got, I got it right here. Everybody, he said just before and just after a heavy rain. Is a great time to go fishing. And right now, that rain hadn't even started yet. But the pressure, if you guys can see that gold down, that's how far that, that, that barometer has gone up since the last time I said it. It's telling you right now, if you get that right before that rain, man. Right now, right before the rain. And I'm talking about it's saying the fishing right now is excellent, man. Tomorrow, sometime, let me see. It's over here, I guess. Tomorrow, sometime, that gauge will be over here somewhere. Thunderstorm. Yes, sir. Well, it, it's, it's supposed to rain uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's coming in tonight. The rain coming in tonight. It's calling for rain tomorrow. Now, it's supposed to come in tonight. We're talking about real bad rain, okay. man. Bad weather. Yeah. Um, I don't know, guys. If you if you don't have one of these fishing barometers, man, uh, my homeboy Chris turned me on to it. Sam, how long you done had yours, bro? Some years. <laughs> Years. I mean, some years, Django. Yes. Yeah, yes. man. I Actually, found. I, look, go ahead. I, I got two of them, Django. I have one hanging up here in the house. I got one out in the boat. Yeah. These things right here, man. These some quality, quality gauges, man. I found. Well, I didn't find it. Uh, Chris told me about it, and I went on Amazon. And I checked it out, man, and they was on there for 16 bucks. These things are quality built, man. Uh, got a got a anti-shock case around it. If you drop it, you won't break the glass, anything like that right there. It's made to last. What you think of that, Sammy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that thing ran off uh, mercury tubes. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, mm -hmm. if you drop it, you could break it. But like you say, it's uh, it's built, it's cushioned around. Nope, that ain't gonna happen. So yeah, it's quality <laughs> piece. I wonder if it does it float. Do you know if it floats or not? I don't know. It feel like it'll float, like it's got some in it and make it float. But I don't want to test it out. You know what I mean? Don't, yeah, don't try, Jango. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna try. Yeah, I'm just wet. I'm gonna hang it right there on my boat, man. That's where it's gonna be it. I, I done had it so long, I forgot what the, well, not the uh, package said, waterproof or uh, what. I done had it over, over 10 years. For real? Over, 
Yes. Yes. I'm telling you, yes. it's tried and true, man. You start paying attention to that uh, barometric pressure, man. Let me see. Let me see what they say in the chat. Uh, makes sense because we are fixing to get an all-day rain. That's what Jake said. Yeah, beautiful said it's gonna rain. Start raining tonight, y'all. They say it's gonna be all day. Beautiful is supposed to start about ten and rain all night and all day tomorrow. Good gracious! But they're telling you right here, look. So what? What'd you say, bro? Now I was saying Fleming had asked us, uh, "What about tying off to the bridge in the wind?" We had, we ain't never did that before. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, we ain't never did that before. Just tie off to the bridge. We ain't never really just fished under the bridge like that before. You know, we did do it on that Lick Creek that time. Remember, we wore them out. <laughs> we was out there in the middle of the bridge catching out on feet and folk riding by. I said, Damn, man, y'all catching fish? Right there at the dock. You don't remember that? Right there at that store with the subway at? You don't remember that spot? We didn't catch no, we didn't catch no fish like that that day. Yeah, we did, man. No, we did not. Man, that no, bitch, you did, though, hot, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's been, it been a while now, man. It's been a long while. We, cause you, you don't remember the last time we fished the Lick Creek, do you? No. The last no, time you remember we went trolling up. No. But we went there, we went there one time before. And uh, matter of fact, I think we put in at Long Shows and we drove all the way around there to it. And we fished there on a windy day. But I really, I really, I, I just don't like fishing in that heavy wind, man. Um, it just, you know, some people like it, man. Some people, I, I really, I, my boat, it blow me all over the place, bro. And that just made, that just made just be me, man. But I have a terrible time with that heavy wind, bro. What they say, uh, Jake say, fish the pile and side scan then. Then sit up, did you that once and did pretty good, man. We got we got to tell them, look, we got a spot, man, and we ain't even fishing, and it's just stacked up and on. But oh yeah, we got man, we got <laughs> we got a spot, man. Somebody we just went down that scout that day, and ain't been back since. I don't know what. And that thing, I had fish everywhere, and we ain't been back there. Where we, Where we going, man? What's the word on West Point, on? Django, you ain't heard that. I nothing? have no idea. Yeah, um, nah, I ain't heard. Somebody, somebody said, I thought somebody said something about West Point. With er, uh, early in the chat, somebody said something about West Point. Not West yeah. No, no, no. No, I, I was talking about Clark Hill. I ain't heard nothing about West Point. Yeah, somebody dropped some content on the uh, Facebook channel, man. Facebook page. Um, said they did good at uh, West Point. I think they were trolling. Crappy okay. Flight said he did that one time okay. on a Saturday. And did I know this time uh, last year they were pulling some hogs out of there. Okay. He said, ain't got, he ain't got, ain't got no footage of what? What are you talking about? Flint. Uh, so yeah, I ain't got no footage of. I don't know, man. Let me tell you what he's talking about tying off at that bridge. That's what it is. That was crack for life. That was that was Eddie talking about on that bridge. I think Eddie fished yeah, the bridges all the time. Yeah, he said he did good one Saturday. Yeah, man. I um, uh, I um, uh, I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to be sedated in there, man. But bridge fishing, I, I I enjoy it, man. But you know, you kind of you can't go nowhere. You just stuck right there in that one spot. If they ain't, if they ain't bite, man, you just doubt. Like when we go See, to a particular I, place, go ahead, look. You know, it really, it really be hard for me to breed fishing because you know the long poles I be fishing with. And that's the other thing, you know what I mean? If you put yourself in a good spot, your partner gonna be in a bad spot, you know what I mean? Um, I I really like just going out there and finding a man, and then putting the work in that way. You know, if if circumstances dictate that the fishing gonna be poor. And the only thing I can do is go fish a bridge. That's what I, I will do that. But I won't go fish a common bridge. I, I go to that spot where we go in there right look. <laughs> yeah. So that, that time we fished that, that that bridge, you ain't talking about the time we were jigging out, out the pile. You ain't talking about that time. Uh-uh. 
Man, it's been a while, man. We fished right there at Lick Creek. Right there, it almost on the dock. They got a bridge right there when you put in. We fished right there on the I can't believe you don't remember, man. I know that was you back there. Yeah, that was you. Mm-hmm. And we did very good, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Only reason why we went there because that wind was bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jake, talking about you got live scope. Use it in jig. Using it in jig. I mean, let me say this right here. I have been lazy as of late, man. Uh, with the live scope, I can pull up, tell them, look, we don't find so many spots stacked up with crap that we could jig. But it's just so much excitement when I type. Well, let me ask you something, man. Your personal opinion. Is it more fun to jig or is it more fun to uh, tight line? Me if, if, me, if I'm jigging, I'd really jig from land than jig from a boat. That's it, cause I've been doing it. That's how I've been. I've been doing, you know, bank fishing way more than I've been doing boat fishing. So, but if mm -hmm. I'ma get on that boat and get out there in that water, you mean I'm 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 going with the minnow. Yeah, it's just way more fun, man. But I will I will do a video of us jigging, man, because uh, I think a lot of people just seem to think that uh, jig fishing just a better way to fish, man. And I ain't, I ain't taking that to nobody, man. I just I just, you know, I can catch volumes faster that way. But, you know, some people can catch them with one pole just as fast. So, I ain't taking that for nobody, man. But, uh, yeah, I got the equipment made to go in there and do it. I got a spot that's loaded with crap. And we always say we're going to go back there and jig them fish out there low. We always change up, though, man. Yeah. One day we're going to have to commit to it and do it, man. Sammy, get in on this conversation, man. What's up? Jake Hall oh, wants to talk about jigging. His favorite. He said, "You pull in a hole from you that know, thumb." I, I love the jig. I love the jig. Oh, that go off. I see. He said, "What up, guy? I didn't know y'all were live." Yeah, man. Uh, we tried to come live yesterday, Derek, and uh, y'all on computer threw up again, man. Uh, I got everything fixed, so we on here tonight, man. And, uh, we talking. What are you talking about? It's safe. He said, I fish bridges 80% of the time I go out. See, let me out a couple times, past couple of weeks. For me, it's all about timing when they stack up there. Yeah, man. Like I say, y'all, Eddie, he fished the bridges, but he jigged them bridges, you know? Do a real good job. I, I, I done saw him out there a couple times. But you know one thing about it though, once somebody find out you done caught some fish on a bridge, man, you ain't gonna be able to fish that next week. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to fish that in a while. That's a done deal. <laughs> yeah, they had, they, they had a, them issue, they had an issue like they had out there in Lake Tobacco, soccer, them all ramming each other That's under the, the key bridge. About the bridge spot, Jango. Think, like they own. Somebody see you, it's a done deal. <laughs> oh yeah, man. The boy getting the shooting and everything else about them fishing exactly. spots, man. Yeah. yeah. Next day you gonna see a family there. <laughs> like they, like they own a pile or not? They had to ram each other in the boat. Hey, one day, lo, I had to go, I had to go all the way to the right side of the uh, bridge to go up on there. Had some in the boats on there one day, man. On the low water side. On the low water, I about a rock, man, with snakes in. I told everybody, "What's up, y'all? Hope y'all catching." <laughs> all the boats just tied up under the bridge, man. It kind of like Tobo, you know. You know, they be down on that spillway. If one man say, if a man go down there one day and say, I caught some fish at the spillway, it'd, it'd be 1,200 people there the next day. You can't even <laughs> cast a line out there. <laughs> What's that, look? Frank said he, Frank said he might go fishing the weekend if the anchor feels better, say he bust the anchor up at work. I told him Dang, he needs to stay home. Don't worry, don't worry about that fishing. Man. I, um... What are we gonna do, Lo? Yeah, they tried. They that one tried that one uh, uh, one time before with me and Django, and he kept oh, trying it. Remember that snake was trying to get in the boat with us? Lord have mercy, man! It was cold that day too, wasn't it? 
Yeah, you trying to get it? Yeah, hey, man. I had that. I'm glad I got that lip on my boat, man. It'd be kind of hard for him to get up in there, but that joke was raising up, man. I told look, man, let's get up out of here, man. I know y'all going back on a hog search, huh? He said, I'm hearing about the bite on Oconee near Indian Mine. He said, y'all heard about that. Probably muddy now. Man, don't say that, man. Cause I want, I'm a, I'm a check. I want to check somebody out this weekend, man. You heard it in your mind? Uh. Uh. Neither. I, 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 I was gonna say that though, dog. That that rain is supposed to come tonight. I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen, Django. Well, it, I, 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 I think it messed up. It getting muddy now. But what coming tonight though? Hmm. Yeah. No. Well, we can always check the uh, weather, and we can hit that 75 South, man. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, oh we can go down there and go down there and uh, fish with our uh, way up there, man. You don't think black shit going to be? I don't know. Black should be black. Well, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, black everything going to be black, muddy in Georgia. Frank, to hmm. my hippo will come up. Where up at, uh, 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 Black shit? Yeah, he fit uh, black shit. Okay. <laughs> hey, Flemmy said him and his brother, his buddy broke a couple of oil killer snakes. <laughs> <laughs> they rough, man. You know, especially if that water. If you if you ever fish Lake Sinclair, y'all already know them. That thing infested with snakes. Not so bad at O'Connor like it is at Sinclair, man. You can't even get on the rocks at Sinclair, man. Sometimes, bro. I'm talking about see thousands of. Them. You see what Frank say? What is it? Let me see. Frank Fishing said, a picture I saw of Sinclair was really muddy, which means O'Connor is pretty muddy. Dang. Oh, Tony yeah. Allen said, what about after the snow? I have no idea, man. That, that, hey, that's out of that's out of my wheelhouse there. <laughs> I have no man. idea about that snow, man. Yeah, I'll yeah. be watching, I'll be watching ice fishing on YouTube, but Ah man, I have no idea. I couldn't that. do that, man. I, I'd be so paranoid, man, about that ice, man. I don't care if it's twenty feet thick, man. I wouldn't walk across no well, troll hey, lake. Hey, Sammy can answer that question. He'd be up there after the you, snow. Hey, you ain't kidding about that, Django. I ain't messing with no ice. <laughs> that scared uh, Joe. He said he ain't messing with no ice. <laughs> no, I ain't, uh, ice cube and a drink. <laughs> hey, crap for life. Say he had Cairo, Georgia, man. That's a down there with black shit too, right? It Cairo. It dies. You I get you get you get a black shit before you get to Cairo, right? What's going on, Willie? Beautiful says she hates snakes. Everybody. Oh, you boy on here, uh, Sam. What's up, Willie? Will, what's happening? Who? Van. Oh Dixon. yes, Van Dixon. Said I'm getting a new boat on the 26. Looking forward to learning crappy fishing from the master. Anyone willing to teach me? You want to take that one, Luke? Hey man, all you got to do is come out there and get on that water. We ain't no masters, but we can show you how to catch some fish, and we can put you on some fish. Yes, yeah, so you gonna have some fun? I explain to you, I explain to you how I catch the fish, <laughs> and you can take it from there. What, what's the word on Crescent, Django? That's why I was telling Lope. I mean, if the condition get bad down here, we can consider doing that. Maybe the weekend, you know what I mean? Yeah. Frank said, with well, him, he fall through somehow. <laughs> 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 I ain't even well, take that chance, Frank. <laughs> hey, Jay said the ice had hey, to be bro. super thick. Hey, Man, bro, I seen him jump with... We were talking about going to uh, Oconee, man, but we, the rain ain't is supposed to come in tonight. I don't care how thick it is. I ain't going to do it. Well, I, he, oh, uh, Frank Fish said he said he might go to Claws Hill. That's some crazy stuff I saw at Claws Hill. You got one side of the lake be muddy, the other side be clear. Yeah, that man, might you can see the line. You can see the line in the water where you could, your boat could be on half clear, half muddy. That yep. may be a good one too, uh, Django. Good idea. What's up, Rex? <laughs> We're going I got Rex, Lope. I ain't seen that joke in a long time. 
Yeah, we ain't seen him since that night. Uh, he ain't posting nothing about he been fishing either, man. You been going out there? Probably that cold weather been keeping a lot of folks out there warm. What's up, Little? Hey, it's another. There's another new person here, say from Mobile, Alabama in the highs. What's up, yeah, man? Leonard Robbins, man. What's going on, man? Glad you joined us tonight, man. Hey, guys, let me apologize, man. Uh, we normally go live on Tuesdays, man, but... Uh, I got you, Rick. We, we had some uh, technical issues happen Tuesday, man. So I just told the guys, uh, listen, man, instead of being half cop, man, let's bring... Let's come back tomorrow when everything up and running right, man. So that's how much we care about y'all, man. We don't want to uh, give y'all no bad content, man. So we decided to defer to today, man. Uh, but we got, we definitely, man, uh, Lord willing, we're going to try to come to y'all each week, man. Definitely um, um, live on Tuesday. We can't If we can't come live on Tuesday, we're going to try to make it up some kind of way, man. But we really trying to avoid them scans out there, ain't that right, low? Yeah, right. The more lurking scan. I tell y'all what, man, since y'all all in the house today, man, give us a thumbs up right quick, man. Give us some thumbs up, dab, pound, whatever you want to give us. What they, what not give us, hey, man. Hey, hey, uh, no eggplant. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hit us up. You can hit us up on uh, putting that work in on YouTube. Not, uh, uh, put that work in on Facebook. Uh, Django, you tell him that uh, form you got, Django? Oh, yeah. Van Van Dixon said, how do I get in touch with you guys? Listen here. Uh, everybody that's on here, I'm going to type in the address, man. I want you guys to go to the uh, website, man. And um, Matter of fact, I, I do it right here on this tablet. Y'all go sign in on the website. Everything is handled up, man. We got a fishing form. Tell them, Sammy. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to type. I'm leave type, all your questions I'm type that in, put that there. In. We do discussion. Bring up your discussion. Everybody get in. Get a two cents about it. Yeah, let me keep them, keep them going there, Sammy. Let me type this in. Hey, I just, uh, hey, man, I just typed it in how you spell it. Um, uh, on Facebook, and that's how I come up. How to come up? There it is, right there, y'all. Uh, DB Crab Fishing now. Outdoors dot online, man. Y'all go on there. Go on there. Sign up. Only way you can. The only way you can um, read the forms, you got to be a member. So sign up is free. Uh, sign up. Join the forums uh, if y'all want. A specific topic you guys want to talk about on a Tuesday, drop it there. If you guys want some answers, you know, from the man, we got a couple of pro fishermen on there, man. They can they can tell y'all what's up, man, and uh have y'all sitting right on that water. So join the forums, man. We got links to how to get in touch with us, man, uh links to the YouTube channel, Facebook, everything, man. Uh just come on there and join, man. Matter of fact, take that time now, guys. Go over there and uh, reach out, sign up, man. We doing big things, bro. What's going on, Michael Lawrence? Hello, everyone from Greenboro. Who? Michael Lawrence. Okay, I see him up there. I say hello, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Elberton? Where is Elberton at? That's like Canada, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he said he said I'm on the George. So he in George. I ain't never heard of Elberton. You? El Alberta? No, Elberton. Nah. Say Elberton fishing. Gotcha. Thanks, home for me. I'm in Augusta, fishing down this way. You been catching? Yeah, we've been catching, bro. Uh, like I say, man, we we would actually like to be on that water right now. I don't know. I, I, if you guys are just coming in, we've been talking. We were talking about barometers, man. If you guys can see that right now, the fishing right now is excellent. It's excellent, man. Hey Frank. Hey Frank. They said them pepper was good, man. Ain't pepper. They said them thing good. Dude. 
Hey, Rick said, LOL, Everton is late heart will. <laughs> Man, I ain't never heard of it, Rick. I'll be honest with you. I done caught, I done caught them chain pericles in small puns. Now, you would not believe what you would catch in these back road small oh, Chris puns. Chris jumped man. in, huh? Let me see. He didn't show up. Who that? Who that didn't jump in? Jamie? I think he probably did jump in, man, but I can't bring there him in go. now, man. <laughs> there you go. You see him on there? Yeah. Now, look, hold on, let me see if I can't find him right quick. Look at the top of the screen where me and Loke at. You know what me and you was talking about the other day. Okay, let me uh let me see if I can't. Y'all keep it up, man. I uh I'm gonna try to add him in, man. Okay. Rick said, Elberton is late to part with it. What's going on, Christopher? Hey, man, what's going on, Sammy? How you doing, man? Y'all doing all right? Same old same. Yeah, yeah. We send it. Hey, you lie. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, man, uh, hey, we just finished bowling, man. I'm sorry, man, for the, uh, the lateness, my tardiness, but... Uh, yeah, I had to support the team on that, but I know you guys, y'all, y'all uh, preached all that content that we had discussed. So, yeah. hey, man, I know it was good. Good morning, Ken. Yeah, I can't wait to did y'all record it. I want to go back. I want to hear it because uh, I just want to you know, go back to see what I can learn. I mean, because yeah, I know yeah. the topic already, but yeah, I definitely it, it, it's on uh, YouTube. Okay, all right, yeah. I'll go back and take a look at it, man. Okay. Okay. Hi, yeah, man. I see y'all doing y'all thing. All right, man. I get with oh. you. Yeah, yeah, uh, Frank, man. Like I said, they said they're good, though. I, I don't, I don't, I don't do that sis thing, but yeah, they said they're good, man. What are you talking about? I don't miss a lot them of chain, stuff. Them, them chain peppers. You got him. They must got a mouthful of teeth, man. For real? Yeah, they look like they look like some pipes, man. Like some like some pipes, some walleye kind of man. Hmm. What they taste like? like <laughs> <laughs> they said they good. I'm telling you, they said they good. They, they them black fish I was telling you about that you wouldn't believe in these little bit of pond. Like you can go to Florida and catch them out there, out of some of them big old uh, lake they got down there. No, it's some down here. We don't call eight nine pine. Look, just like a, a just. I mean, a where you catch them at? These the pond like what I where I take uh uh Nate and thing too. Yeah, they all in them. Come oh, on, man! You need to make a video on that, man. Uh, trust me, when the when the sun heat back up, I'm gonna show y'all them, them them them. We call them we call them black. Uh, down down south, they call them snake. They call them snake heads. They call them snake heads down down south. But man, them things. I'm talking about dog. I'm talking about 14, 15. No, I'm talking about 19, 22 inches, eight nine pine, and. Why them thing will fight you to the end, and you better not put your hand in them. Mm, they kind of like them uh, snake feet. They, they, they call them. They, they, they call them Florida snake head. We used to call them black feet. Oh, so they are snake head then. Man, they say snake head tastes so good, man. But them, they they, they, they say they don't want them in the lakes, man. I'm like, man, if they taste that good, man, I put them in now. But I guess what it is, man, if folk be out there swimming. <laughs> If you come out there and bite you on your yeah, butt, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what they call them right here, both of them. But we call them blackfish. Oh, oh well, so they're all over. Sawega. That's another place I ain't ever heard of. Uh, what's the name they say? Both in. That's what they call them. We call them blackfish. Oh, black dogfish. Yeah, my, my mom, I call them both in. He said they look like snakehead. They're very aggressive, but they ain't snakehead. They're not the same. They well, I, like uh, I looked at this dog on YouTube video, man. They were catching these snakeheads. And when they cleaned them, man, that thing had pretty white meat in it, man. And they say this is some of the best eating yep. out there, man. I'm like, man, shoot. You know, they put that big warning out there that O'Connor had uh, a snakehead in it or something. They said, if you catch it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, they right here, man. They take that good. I say, put them in the water, man. You know what I mean? It has some nasty, ugly teeth too, then the jungle. Yeah, I mean, it looked just like a, it looked like a, the, 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 the stripe pattern on it looked just like a water moccasin. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
Yeah. But they got teeth like a barracuda, but they real thin. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? A mouth full of teeth. Yeah, yeah, when they right there on the bank, man. I'm talking about they be right on the bank. They aggressive, man. That's probably why they don't want them in there. I don't advise you. Hey, uh, hey Fleming say he out of here, man. So you got to put the kids to bed. You say you had a blast, though. Hey, man. Much love, bro. Make sure you come back. Visit us every uh, Tuesday, man. 8 p.m. ish. And definitely, guys, don't forget, get over there. DB Crap Fishing Outdoors online, man. And sign up, man. Tell them, Sam, we got a lot of great tech content uh, for yeah, them. We're finna, come uh, over there. We're going to start a blog, man. And, um, Definitely, man, y'all want to be a part of the blog because we're going to be dropping some official information regarding this fishing stuff, man. But it's going to be on a personal note, you know what I mean? I know you guys, y'all read about, you know, scientific aspect of fishing from different people, man. But I'm like Lope, man. I can't tell you scientific, but I can tell you what I know. I can tell you what I've seen, what I did. And that you can take to the bank. Ain't that right, homeboy? That's yeah, right. Yeah, man. You know, somebody telling you where they behave like this because of this, that's one thing. But if I tell you, look, man, I caught them this way and this is how I caught them, blah, blah, blah. That's way more valuable information. You know what I'm saying? That's hands on. What you think, Sam? Yeah, yeah. Uh, even scientific. Hey, you got to put it to work. You know, you, you got to try it out. You, you got to verify it. So people can say what they want, but you still got to get to the water and do the thing. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, A1. Yeah, A1. Everybody, everybody got a different name for them. Everybody like Crappy, man. Crappy got about 50 different names, man. Some people call Crappy Bass. <laughs> Did you see what beautiful rope, man? She said, I just Googled. <laughs> she said, no, thank you. Listen here, don't be supposed to take yeah, real good. good. Yeah, them parents, they look just like them pipes. <laughs> <laughs> he say pickerel are a similar version of a pike or a musky. Yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. I, hadn't, I hadn't caught one before, man. I ain't never seen one out here, you know? But it's all, you know, yeah, I feel like. like the, first time I caught, the first time I caught one in one of these little poems, man, I was just, I couldn't believe it. I, well, I had it in my hand, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah guys. Little, uh, Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. No, I'm from get long winded. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just talking about the water name. You go ahead. But yeah, guys, uh, if you just joining, if you just uh, coming in on the broadcast, man, uh, we were talking about the subject tonight was uh, barometric pressure and uh, using a fishing barometer. And basically, what we were saying was uh, these are the analog versions of the barometers that we use, and uh, they come in very handy, man. Like right now, this barometer is telling. Telling us what is it telling us, Sam? It's time to be on the water. In the time to go fishing. That's what it calls. Oh, you it's telling you to get your body out there on that water. That go, Chris. Yeah. Well, there hey, Chris. Go. Hey, Chris. I tell you what. Chris. Break it. Break it down for hey, Chris. Break it down, Chris. Hey, that thing right there. Hey, when that barometer is reading, well, for that particular barometer, there are several. I mean, back in the day. I mean, your granddaddy, grandmama, whatever, they used to have these little things. You probably would have thought they was a clock. Nah, it's not a clock. That was a barometer. But today, we still use those. Instead of, you can you can check the weather, like uh, the weather underground and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. But to have on your person, get that barometer. It'll cost you about $16. It'll save your life, too, if you're on that water. Because if that pressure dropped from where that good pressure at, where Django is showing you, and that thing dropped all the way down to like 28, which is in that storming area. You better get off that water because that's it's gonna really be a storm. I mean, that's why I was, I was explaining that to him. So what now? I, I was explaining that to him. Um, yeah. That gray area, that Chris, tell explain what that gray area mean over there to you, to your left. Oh, oh, that gray area is when that that pressure when that pressure dropped like that. That's some bad fishing. I mean. You could you could press your luck, you you could press your luck, but I look at that prior to I even go out on the water. I mean, you know, because in the evening, the time, the evening time, the pressure may go up just a little bit. If the pressure start to to fall just a little bit, even if it's in the gray, you still might have a, some good fishing, but it ain't gonna be no no the best fish. 
But in hey, you see, you see that blue right there? Yeah. I, I you see, go. you see why, you see why I got my gold pen set, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a few yeah. hours ago. Right <laughs> that's wow. where it was. That's where we started wow. it. You should have been wow. out there trolling, hey, hey. Chris. Hey. Hey, I need to be out there. Don't worry. I'm going sometime soon. Trust me. And I'm going to let you know. I'm going. <laughs> it's going down, man. Hey, but that is a good topic, man. Uh, like I said, preach it, man. And, and, and I just hope everybody, you know, they got something out of it because that little tool, it's not just a tool. Oh, oh, oh. You know, uh, uh, just to throw in your toolbox and, and just leave it alone. I just leave mine on my boat and, and I look at it constantly. Yeah, I it's mean, something to fish by. It's something to fish by. Yeah, and I know that you. I know you told them about, like you said, the pre-spawning and and all of that type of stuff. Did y'all even get into any of that, Sammy? No, 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 not quite. Okay. No, no, okay. No, 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 okay. Okay. Well, don't you know. Touch on it. Well, you know. Well, you know. Uh, this time of year, by us being in the south, I mean, every fish they don't spawn at the same time. So. Never do. Our fish. In our region, in the southern region, I got this crappy wisdom book, and I'll tell you, I, and I recommend everybody get it, and I'm not getting no type of endorsement for this, but it gives you a calendar and a time for and even when what the, what the weather should be for your region and when those fish are starting to pre-spawn. I think I even told you one time, Django Dinner, I mean, I mean, right when y'all went out that night and killed them. Yeah, we wore them out. Matter of fact, I tell you what, if you guys saw the last up, upload we had, right, me and Lope, we went nighttime crappy fishing. Prior to going fishing, I talked to Chris. And Chris, you called me, you said, tell him what, what you said to me. I, I said, my barometer is off the chart. If you don't get y'all behind off on that lake, I said, I'm going <laughs> for you. But I can't go for you right now. I said, y'all finna kill him. He said, man, Lope finna try something. Man, I'm telling you, I was crying every I said, I can't wait to see the footage. Can't wait to see the footage. And man, that footage is is phenomenal, man. I, like I said, that, that lets me know that those old things that the old folks used to go by, man. Hey, sometimes analog is the way to go, man. And, and you can't, you can't, can't count that out. You got to go with it, you know. But you know, like we were talking, like we were speaking about earlier, you know, those digital versions. You may have a reading on that digital version. And it may not have been updated for the last 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It's, That's right. You know, you can't be the analog, man, because the analog is going to react directly to That's whatever right. the pressure That's is outside. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Analog, man. Uh, like I said, I got one on my watch. I got one on my cell phone. But the one that I keep for my boat, hey, that's the one I go by. And, and that's the one I and I recommended for for Django. I said, just check it out, man. You know, I ain't tell him to go get it. I said, hey, man, just check it out, see what you think. Django say, bro, I'm already on top of it, man. And <laughs> and like oh Derek, like Derek said, hey, man, you like the fish? Hey, man, you might well put your money towards your craft, and that's your craft, you know. And hey, I buy every little gadget to help me and be successful on that water. It don't matter. That's the key. Yep, exactly. Yep, small tube. Small tools, man. Bring so, big success. Like I said, yeah. I can't hey, hey, um, Chris, tell them where they can get that thing at, man. Hey, man, go to Amazon. You go on Amazon and get that thing, man. It costs you $16 plus tax. If you got Prime, I mean, you know, you get that thing in two days, maybe a day. It depends on when you order it. I'm telling you, I recommend getting you one. It's a little tool, yeah. anybody. It's, it's a fishing barometer. My track. What that say right there, Craig? Oh yeah, hey, it's time to go fishing right there, man. That's 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 why I need to be. I, I need to be right now. <laughs> it's time to go fishing. That's what's up, man. Yeah. But uh, man, you know, there's a lot of consideration, man. We take for granted, man. You know, this fishing game, just like Chris say, man, invest in your craft. Um, if you're gonna fish, man, you know. You got to consider all the, you know, all the variables behind that thing, man. It ain't always just throwing a line in the water, man. You can throw a minnow in the water, a jig in the water, man. If it ain't no fish under your boat, get what? You ain't going to get no fish. And then, if you're on top of fish, and they probably won't bite. We've been in that sit, uh, situation plenty of times. You got a gang of fish under your boat, they won't bite nothing. You know what I'm saying? And all that That's right. comes That's into right. play with this, with, with barometric pressure, you know, 
it comes right. into uh, water temperature, hey, you know. Say he's just ordered That's here. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Lope said it best yesterday. He said, hey, they got them closed mouths. He said, they got closed mouths. They ain't going to bite. Hey, That's right. Bite. It don't matter what you put in front of them. They got closed mouths. They ain't going to bite. And then you got to know how fish spun. Man, I owe y'all one, man. I promise you I do, Django. And I told Sammy this, man. I got a video. It is actually show how fish spawn. I mean, it shows that when they dropping the eggs and all of that type of stuff, man. I owe y'all that. And it's like a kid and his father. They they found a school of crappy, and uh, and they just stuck a GoPro up on the water while they was doing it, man. And it, it's close up, so you can actually see the eggs and how how the, uh, the male and the female uh, crappy how they interact. That right there, it would definitely to me. It helped me to understand that species mm -hmm. I mean because until I read that book I really didn't know how to find these crappy when they pre-spawn because everybody say hey man they spawning but you don't know when they're spawning you got to know every fish every region don't spawn the same they're not spawning where Sammy's at right now no not even close not. I still got ice yeah you still got ice it's pre-spawning but we are where well, we are right now, but when that cold front hit that hit that uh, hit them fish, it, if they have laid some eggs or whatever the case, hey, them uh, them, male, them female crappie, they don't move back out to that deep end, and those are the ones I'm targeting right now because it ain't gonna be many, it ain't gonna be many left back in that shallow. I'm going for them big ones like y'all did, them 16 inches. That's Man, what I'm they're going aggressive. For. They're aggressive too. Yeah, right. Lawrence said he ordered here. Michael Lawrence said he ordered here. <laughs> hey, Lawrence said he just ordered here. Man, look at him, man. I wish we had an endorsement. You know what I mean? We could get paid off that right there, Chris. You done, you done, you done, you done put some game out there, homie. Oh, oh Eddie said he just ordered here. They're going to want to know, bro. They're going to want to know, man. They're going to know. What y'all did on this water, what, what them boys done did on this water, I mean, are we practicing what we preach, uh, whatever the case, I'm telling you. Every time you go out, like I always know, you think I always catch the limit. You're not going to always limit out. But the thing is, we always catch fish, but sometimes we may not catch that, that fish that we're looking for, that big, big fish that we're looking for. But if when you understand how these fish respond, and we at I mean, you know, Yango, I know you can spell them. Yeah, you know I can. You guys, yeah. So yeah, I have to go out of here. Science and the things that I know from what old folks need to do. That's what I go out for. So. Hey, hey, uh, but I'm getting that. Like hey, Chris, like you going in through a bad area, man. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually traveling back from this uh, this tournament. Can y'all hear me still? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I can hear you, man. But your video is going out. It's saying uh, it's saying you got a sky for phone service. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you might be right. <laughs> so you say so you got that jitterbug, man. Yeah, hey, man, hey, you right. Hey, I want, I want to quit them too. That's Verizon. I want to quit them, but, you know, I'm, I should be endorsing them. But, hey, man, you know, Verizon, if y'all hear this, I need y'all help. Help us out. Endorse us. Yeah. Uh, endorse them, Jitterbug. The buzz ain't big enough for my Rick. All right. <laughs> hey, man, you got everybody out here all the barometers now, man. Boy. He said, man, y'all laying down some knowledge tonight. Say this info is worth it weight and gold. Man, that came from Derek, man. Derek gave us a shout out tonight, man. What's up? But I'm going to tell y'all though, man. Uh, like I said, man, if you guys just joined, Chris called me, man. I don't know how in the world Chris knew we were going fishing that night because I didn't even call Chris. And when he called me, I said, man, I should have called you, Chris. Man, I can't go nowhere. He said, uh, Man, if y'all get on that water, y'all gonna wear them out. I said, why you say that? He said, man, that barometer right there. It right there. I said, I hope so. He said, man, let me know how y'all do. I said, you'll definitely know when I drop that video. And man, when we got there, man, the bite was, it was slow, man. Starting out, it was very slow, but 
we really wouldn't sell it yet. We were trying to find a spot, but once we committed to a spot, man, I couldn't catch nothing small, man. And uh, tell them what you was experiencing back there, Lope. I'm catching fish, man. I'm talking about tell them, tell them you were using minnow, right? Yeah. Did you uh, did you throw any minnows away? <laughs> Yeah, no. I went you caught that many fish, huh? Wow! I, 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 I put out fifty wow. minnows and I caught 50, 50 fish. I know that much. Damn! I told him, man. Uh, Miss Reed said, man, stop throwing away fish. Bring them to him. <laughs> you heard that look? I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Come on, man. We got we got to take care we, of Miss Reed. Miss Reed said, man, we got to stop throwing away fish. Huh? Miss Reed, Reed told you that. Yeah, I know. He told me to keep them uh, skines, too. I said, man, okay. I kind of ignored that a little bit. I mean, how I many of them skines you reckon we can put in a cooler? Three. Been up in I a cooler. Man, that thing won't fit in my line well. I'm telling you, all them fish y'all yeah, got won't fit in my line well. I got to get me a cooler. I got to get me a Yeti, uh, one of them other coolers that, um, Ozarks or something. Yeah, the yeah, Ozarks yeah. were just they good. They'll fit, they'll fit, they'll yeah, fit in the cooler. They ain't going yeah, they ain't going no line well. Man, cause, hey, besides fish, yeah, because I like to see mine still swimming a little bit, you know, before I uh, before I let that water go I, that ice. I believe it do, Black Rain. I probably ain't going to do no cleaning that, that same day. <laughs> I gotta get man. back on the chat, man. I don't let the chat close out, man. Let me see. What are everybody talking about now? He said, uh, are we good knowledge? Yeah, thank you. He said, fam, do y'all think wind direction affect the fish bite? You know what? It's all somebody always said that a little wind is always good for fishing. But it's yeah. like this right here, depending how you fishing, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you if you jigging, man, a little wind gonna help you. But like you say, man, uh, we not direct, we not dropping anchors no more. We spot locking and stuff, man. And uh, that wind really affect our fishing game, man. I may have to put those anchors back on the boat, man, because uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, it's, it's always been a tradition on on my boat. You drop them anchors, and you, by the time you drop them anchors and get your rods right, the fish gonna be right where you want them. At. <laughs> That's, that's right. Hey, that's hey, right. Ramon, man, I hope y'all doing okay over there, man. Y'all having a pretty rough over there, man. They gonna move. They gonna move. I mean, they chasing. I hope all well over there, man. So they doing what they do. They in their natural habitat. So that's why I'm I think it's very uh, I think it's very lucrative to have spotlights. But you know, some people don't like it, man. But I, I like it. You know, it don't. Hey, man, y'all. Hey, know, hey, hey, hey. I wish hey, I had stuff deployed, but hey, man, I'm good with what I got. Cause, you know, when it's time to hey, move, it's time some, to move. Hey, y'all, y'all, just some prayers out there, yep. Romero, Dave, yep. man. Hey, Django. Romero, them, they going through it. Hey, on hold, hold up there. Hold up, hold up. Ro, uh, Romero, them up there in Texas, man, they going through it. Loke was telling them all. Uh, I don't know why y'all can't hear Loke on y'all end, man. Y'all may have to open up oh, a I browser here. Hear. And uh, but he was saying y'all say a prayer for Romero, them, man. So they going through it up there. He uh, he in the he in the chat right now. He said I'm going through it, Sky family, and he got a bunch of like freezing little boys on there. Right, right, right. They 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 got bad over there, man. They hold they hold grid over there, man. Yeah, man. So definitely, man. Uh, we're yeah. gonna shout out prayer to Romero, man. That sky, Romero. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get you online one day, man. Cause I know everybody want to see your sky face. Cause you always here talking that mess. <laughs> we definitely get you on here one day. We're gonna abuse you. <laughs> yeah, right, Sam, let, see, let get him on here one day, Sam. Y'all yeah. abuse that joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring them all. <laughs> no power uh, in Texas, is that right? <laughs> they got no power at all in Texas, y'all. No, they got a oh, blackout. 2.5 million, 2.5 million. Yeah, my, my best friend. They hold yeah, green on uh, down, man. His daughter, she's in the F. And, and they don't see that defending machine, man. They can't even go to the defect, man, on base. It's, it's bad, man. Yep, it is. I mean, they can't even get food to them so. Yeah, it's bad out there. They don't they don't get no snow man. down there, man. And uh man. 
I, it's brutally cold down there. So, yeah, they man, in a some, bad way. Yeah. Man, something going on with Texas, man, because, man, they, one day they have a drought, one day they have a heat wave, next thing they know, ice storm, man. Boy, they need well, to get the hurricane. Don't forget the hurricane they had. Well, that tornado, oh, that tornado coming next. That's when that, uh, that, when that warm spot comes, it's coming. So, it's just like North yep. Carolina, man. It's, it's coming. Anytime you get that warm from that cold like that, oh, my God, it's coming. And, you know, like yep. I, said, I pray for them families out there, man, uh, all the time. So, you know, by us being in the military, man, it, it, it affects us, too. Because we, we, we trying to come up with a, a plan to, you know, to reach those soldiers and provide the the care for the ones who need care and, you know, and give those guys food, those soldiers food out there because it's hard to get it to them if they're in the barracks. These young soldiers that we're talking about out there, man, I know we're talking about fishing, but I know we got off subject a little bit. But these are young soldiers. They're away from home. And, uh, you know, they don't have, some of them don't have transportation to get around. And so they depends on that dining facility that they're close by to, to provide them meals. But that dining facility is closed. Yeah. So I mean, so I mean, so they in a bad up, way too, huh, Chris? Oh yeah, this this in a bad way, man. They can't get around. There's no transportation. Is it, is bad, man. So, and and they they don't even talk about that. They don't talk about that because if they was to announce that over on the news, of course you got families. You know these mothers. My my kid out there just that third start trying to contact the Congress, the congressman, and all this type of stuff. What are you doing? My feed my child. And, yeah. You know, we think of the military as being so strong, but hey, man, we we at a vulnerable point right now, man. Not trying to can't reach those soldiers to to get them the meals and, and the care that they need. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Look good, man. Y'all send up another prayer, man. Regarding that right now, man, for them soldiers, man. You know, we we talking about fishing. We taking for granted. A lot of people going through it right now. Yeah, uh, they going through it, man. man. That's right. That's right, man. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope right. to go out there to y'all though, man. Feel me? Man, no doubt, man. But not to change subject, but I'm going fishing this Saturday. And I'm sorry. And I know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm wrong. I know I just switched back gears. But, you know, you know, I, when I'm on that water, I will be saying more prayers. So, and, I, and I pray for y'all if you guys go, you know, for safety, weather safety, and catching plenty of fish because it's going down. DM boys yeah. going fishing and it's going down. Well, uh, it's all dependent, though, Chris. Man, it might be muddy, man. That what me and Lope were talking hey, about. Hey, uh, yeah, Cause they say the well, rain coming in tonight, right? Ten, man. They say it's gonna rain, rain. And yeah, Lope was saying, I, man, I, it's I, gonna I be muddy. Uh oh, Chris just, Chris just went out. Sammy, where you at? I'm here. Yeah, there you go. I'm here. Whenever you talk, you come on screen. Whenever he talk, he come on screen. Hey, check this check this out. Uh, to answer that question about the uh, the wind, those wind uh, blown banks, man, the wind pushes the bait up on that bank. But as you know, the wind is too uh, troubling to be fishing in, so you know you fish the opposite bank. But the next day, you start your search on the wind blown bank from the day before. All right, you lost me on that. What are we talking about now? You know, that's a guy in the chat asking about the wind. Yes, yes. Break it down to me again. Look, uh, those wind blowing <coughs> banks. The wind pushes the bait up on that bank, but you know it's hard to fish into the wind, right? So you fish in the opposite side. The next day you fish that wind blown bank because it's full of bait. I mean, it's hmm. full of bait. From the wind blowing on it all day, it pushes the bait up there. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, you see, you see what uh, what Derek said? No, I got my thing, y'all. Hold up. Let me see. Derek say inch. Oh, he say I'm going after 21 inch the weekend. Hey, you might find them too, man. Cause they big, bro. I gotta say, my 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 last outing, man, we caught some monster, man. Uh, the only thing about it, though, the fish that we got down here, O'Connor, they just starting to feed, man. So they hadn't bulked up yet, man. And uh, 
They got the length, man. They just ain't got the girth yet, man. But once that girth come in, I'm looking at two, two and a half pound crappy catching, bro. We gonna have some doggone, uh, what you call it, um, Clark Hill monsters in a minute. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So hey, hey, what you what you come up with, Django? What you and Loke gonna do? You ain't made up your mind yet? About what? Which way y'all going? going? We can't. That's what I say, man. We gotta see what it was gonna be like, man. You know, we need to be out there right now, man. But like right now at the wind high and then you know it's gonna rain hard all day tomorrow. You know, it still might be good fishing tomorrow. I'm gonna look at my barometer and see what it looked like, and um, uh, it may be a good fishing for them guys that want to get under the bridge, man. But hell, it might be lightning tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I don't yeah. know what to tell, man. I don't want to go out there in no no adverse weather, man. I want I want to be safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I was we just gonna play it by ear. I didn't think y'all were doing nothing until the weekend, anyway, right? Yeah. I mean. I can say um, we may have a change. Or it, it it may be possible this weekend, man. But uh, we may we may have a change up. And um, like I said, I'm gonna talk to that that joker right up the other side too, and we'll figure something out between here and Saturday. Yeah, cause I thought the uh, the weekend was supposed to be better. It's supposed to be up in the uh, mid fifties. Yeah, depending how you fishing though, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, we've been on here a minute, man. About time to say, hey, say Derrick, a lot hey, of people. Derrick, hey, Derrick, see y'all getting in the all derby. Right. <laughs> Tell him, no, nah, I can't get in no derby. Hey, you talking about the one, that, uh, the one up there with Richard Jean? Django. Yo. I don't know. I don't, I don't Once know. again, go to the web page. <clears throat> That's right, guys. Uh, if you guys are just joining, yeah, Kendrick Moore, I got you, man. I, yeah, I know what you're doing, bro. I, uh, I get with you. I say I get with you tomorrow. Let you know what's up. Um, guys, if you just joined us, and um, uh, guys that that's, that's been with us through the broadcast, get over there. DB Crappy Fishing Outdoors dot online. That's our online forum, man. That's where we do all our fish talking, man. That's how we. That's how we reach out. That's how we talk to each other. That's how we keeping up with each other now, man. Get over there, man, and subscribe, man. The only way to be a part of the forum, you got to actually sign up, man. So get over there. We got some great content. We got some good blog, good, good forum going on right now, too. Ain't that right, Sam? Oh, yes. Yes. And not, yes. not only that, once you once you join the forum, you'll know every time it's updated. Every time somebody adds to that forum, it's going to send you an update, man, so you guys will know what's going on, man. If you guys got any questions, man, that's the place to do it. If you guys want a, a particular topic you want to talk about, get on there and start a forum. You know what I mean? We'll definitely be a part of it. Ain't that right, Sam? Oh, yes. Yes. We'll definitely be in there. Mm -hmm. Derry said O'Connor. He said Derby at O'Connor. Oh, Chris, good back in. What did he say, Django? Man, Sam was talking about some stuff, man, last night, man. Uh, like I said, so what people fail to realize, a topic don't necessarily have to be a topic like per se of just fishing it can be your boat it can be whatever like for instance i had a dumb moment remember i told you i wired my boat mm -hmm. well i wired everything up my boat <clears throat> you know you got a buzzer when you first start your boat up like Beep, and that you so what that buzzer is it let you know if your oil pressure and all that type of stuff is, is right but mine didn't do that Man, I damn near, excuse me, I dang near tore my boat apart because I knew I had this wire behind the counter. And so what it was, to make a long story short, kill switch. I had made a mistake and hit the kill switch. And so that, that wasn't allowing my boat to get that many. So I'm just saying, so somebody would have probably tore their boat apart or whatever the case may be. I just call that a crappy moment. That's what I call it, a crappy moment. Because mm -hmm. it was, I tore my boat apart just trying to find out why my boat wasn't sounding off when I get ready to hit that key, put it in run. That's right. And it, so I mean, it's just little stuff like that. It could be, you know, 
if you found a little trick about your trolling motor, if you found something just about your boat, believe me, the question that you don't discuss, that be something that somebody really want to know about. I mean, they might want to know about. I mean, and they can get all that on, on DB Crappy Online Outdoors. On, on right. the, they can get all that content. I mean, because we start dropping that stuff, you don't have to go search everywhere like on YouTube and all that. We'll have that stuff in house, man. So, like I, said, like I said, just like you said, continue to uh to put that information out and uh spread the word. Like you said, man. Uh, like I said, we wanted to grow. I mean, like I said, it's very intuitive. And like I said, I recommend. Like I said, like I said I'm, I'm glad you guys embraced me, man. Because like I said, I feel like I'm a part. I've been a part of the family since I met y'all, man. So. Hey, I appreciate that love. So I recommend everybody to, to come in and get that same love because, like I said, we're a family, man. We're a fishing family, a fishing there community. There you go, Chris. That, that's right. Right, right. Show sure enough. Well, uh, look here, y'all. We about at that threshold, man. We kind of went over a little bit, man. But I always enjoy talking to you guys, man. And uh, not that we rushing to get off, man, but we got that time limit, bro. So, uh, Sammy, since you the new with it, they want you to take us out, man. Okay, game day jigs and flies, Sam Wright. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Sammy All said. Right, Christopher. All right, fellas. Hey, man, next time. Next time, on that water to get those, uh, get those lines wet and them hooks caught.